People from England are called English. People from Finland are called Finnish. So people from the Netherlands must be Neverish, right? Well, as we all know, that really isn't the case, as people from the Netherlands are called Dutch. So how did we end up with this odd quirk in the naming of these people? But maybe I am going too quickly, as it would seem the Netherlands is the home of awkward confusing nomenclature. While I've been calling this country the Netherlands, it also goes by a different name, Holland. I'm sure you've seen this guy's video, but let's recap what exactly is the difference between the Netherlands and Holland, and of course how did they get their names? Well, simply put, all of Holland is the Netherlands, but not all of the Netherlands is Holland. Let me explain that a tad better. The Netherlands is split up into 12 provinces, with two of the more eastern provinces being called North Holland and South Holland, coming together to form an area just known as Holland. So why have the names of these two provinces become another name for the country as a whole? Well, it's because so much of the national identity of the Netherlands, well at least what tourists have in mind for the Netherlands, is in Holland. The capital of the country, Amsterdam, is in North Holland and The Hague is in South Holland. The Holland provinces is also where there are countless tulips and windmills, so because so much of the stuff associated with the Netherlands is in Holland, the country as a whole became known as Holland. While that might be an explanation for what you can name what, that doesn't explain where the names came from. While the country isn't called the Netherlands because you never age when you're there, the name is actually to do with the lay of the land. The never in the Netherlands means low slash lower, and this word never actually crops up sometimes in language, such as the term the never region to refer to one's private low down area. Not that I'm comparing the Netherlands to the Never region. And yes, it's why the Never in Minecraft is named that, as it's below the normal land. In Dutch, this name is a Nederland, which means quite literally the lower land, as the land that the Netherlands is on is so flat and low. In fact, do you know around one third of the country is actually below sea level? Being so low slash below sea level means that flooding is a huge issue in the Netherlands. Luckily, they've invested in some top of the range anti-flooding systems to make sure the country doesn't end up as another part of the North Sea. So what about the name Holland? Well, this name comes from the old Dutch Hotland, meaning in English woodland as the land where the name is thought to come from, Dutrecht, was one of the more wooded areas in the country. The word for wood in modern Dutch is hout, which isn't far at all from the earlier Old Dutch of holt. Well, that was a tad of a tangent. That's how the country got the names it goes by, and while natives of the Holland provinces are known as Hollanders, Hollanders and all the residents of the Netherlands are called Dutch, which sounds nothing like Holland or the Netherlands, and actually sounds more like what Germany is called in German, Deutschland. Well, to thank for this confusion, fusion in language we have the presumption of the English, you're welcome, to thank. This name is of German origin. The land and the people of Germany were given so many names by others. The French called the country Allemange, the Finnish called the country Saska, and the Swedish called the country Teuskland. Germany's own name for themselves, Deutschland, came not from a name for one of their tribes as they didn't see themselves as tribes, but rather as just people. They called their country Fjordisk, which simply meant of the people. Over time, this word in German became Deutsch, which went into the naming of the country Deutschland. This word of Deutsch became Dutch across the channel in England, and in the ignorant misunderstanding of Europe that only the English people can achieve, the English simply referred to all speakers of Germanic language as Dutch. This of course included the Germanic speakers who lived in the Netherlands, who in English became the Dutch, as did their language. Though I guess it wasn't all due to the ignorance of the English, the land of the Netherlands and Germany were at times one and the same, like in the 1500s when they were both part of the Holy Roman Empire. There was even variations of the term Dutch in English, like High Dutch, meaning the people who who lived in the mountainous areas of Germany, and Low Dutch, referring to the people who lived in the lowlands of the Netherlands. The Netherlands is without doubt one of my favourite countries, and while this country has so many things to love, from amazing artists to amazing scenery to amazing food, it's this collection of dissimilar names, the Netherlands, Holland and Dutch, that's perhaps the most interesting thing about it. The country of the Netherlands was suggested by Janet Neidlinger and Larry Peterson over on Patreon, and thanks to their suggestions, they will now be honoured as Name Explained's patron saint of the Netherlands. If you want to become a Name Explained patron saint, then why not support the channel over on Patreon? Just a dollar and up earns you the chance to suggest a country for the next patron saint video. And of course, thank you to all my amazing patrons. I'm actually going away for a couple weeks, so earnings from ads before videos will really take a hit. Luckily, my amazing patrons will still be supporting me. $2 a month will get your name here with all these amazing people. Thank you.